Turning now to election 2018, Duval County just finished its hand count in the hotly contested Senate race. It follows a machine count that showed fewer than 13,000 votes separate Governor Rick Scott and incumbent Senator Bill Nelson. News 4 Jax reporter Jim Pickett is joining us live from the election center on the north side. And Jim, you tell us staffers are now focusing on the agriculture commissioner's race. That's exactly what's happening behind me here. I can show you that. They're going to be going through those ballots, and there are people from both parties standing beside where these ballots will be at these tables, determining if there is a problem, if they need to challenge that. We saw that in the Senate race. Not a big change, though. We didn't really see uh, much results in that. Most of it came out with, I would say, there were 21 extra votes for Nelson, five for Scott, but those are unofficial and they will even add more to those later on tonight. But this work is continuing. After a slow start today, Duval election officials got to the hand count. Each questionable ballot is being reviewed by staff and observers from both parties. If there are questions about the voters' intent, those behind the staff, either Republican or Democrat, raised objections. The canvassing board would make the final determination. Here's some examples of how they ruled. Several times the voter didn't fill in the oval, but marked the party instead. After a discussion, those votes were accepted. The ones where you see a mark, near the the uh, the oval then those are the ones that are a little bit difficult and uh, so those took a little more time but there were only like three or four that i really had to struggle with mark barnett is one of the observers who was standing behind the tables watching for democrats i know you're observing for the democrats and um, do you th do you see any problems i can't comment officially for anybody sure but do you think this is a fair process of what's happening here from what I can see at my little table. And Republican observers agree. Uh, it's very interesting. They're taking it one step at a time. They're making sure everything's right. And we're getting through the process. So we're very, very pleased with the way everything is going. Given the way that things are going, they may be able to wrap that up tonight. A couple of things, a little bit of levity here. Uh, the room kind of laughed when a vote came up for Santa Claus, and there was also some concern when there was some curse words for one of the candidates written on a ballot. We're live from the Election Center, Jim Piggott, Channel 4, the local station.